Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Kingdom Pets channel. Today, we'll be talking about the seven groups of dog breeds and how that knowledge can really help you identify what kind of dog that you have at home. So thanks and I hope you enjoy. We'll be looking into seven classification of dog breeds and I'll leave the link below for where I got my resources from so that you can also go and check it out and journey along and learn with us. The following dog groups will be brought to you from the pedigree of the Kennel Club. The Kennel Club is one of the oldest dog organisations in the world, established in 1873 in Great Britain. Group number one we'll be looking at is the Toy Dog. Toy dogs are the perfect pets for those that live in apartments and in the city. They come in all shapes and sizes, from the short haired to the furry ones as well. They were originally bred to catch small vermin and rodents. So if you're looking for a dog that is cute and can protect your household, a toy dog is what you're looking for. Group number two we'll be talking about is the terriers. The word terrier comes from the Latin word which means earth. And this is exactly what these breed of dogs are meant to do. They are to go and snuffle out any vermin or prey that is hiding under the dirt and to bring them back. These dogs have a lot of energy, so they really need a lot of exercise to go around. And they're also lovable companions. These are dogs such as the Scottish Terrier or the Bull Terrier. A third group of dogs we're going to be talking about are the Gun Dogs. Now the Gun Dogs are also known as the Sporting Dogs and they are further classified under three categories, which are the Pointers and Setters, the Retrievers and the Spaniels. These dogs have a prominent E feature that is always usually floppy and they are always working in groups to hunt down their prey. They have very acute ears and they are usually trained with whistles when they are going out for the hunt. These dogs can, are examples of the Labrador Retriever and the Cocker Spaniel. Group number four we're going to be talking about are the Hound Dogs. Now the Hound Dogs are known for their cute sense of smell but also for their explosive speed. They are trained to stay in pursuit of their prey and once in vision they are to go after it. These dogs are amazing such as the Dash Hound and the Greyhound and they also make amazing pets. In group number five we're going to be talking about the Working Dogs also known as the Herding Dogs. These dogs are very intelligent and are extremely powerful. From the icy terrain of Alaska to the great outdoors of Australia these dogs have always been known to stick by their owner's side and are very loyal and trainable such as the German Shepherd, the Dogo Argentinio, and the Huskies. So group number six, we're going to be talking about the Utility Group. Now the Utility Group is the most varied amongst our classifications. They were originally bred to help out in any area that the owners need. For example, they can be great guard dogs and they can also be great at working out in the field as herd dogs, but they are not specifically bred for that particular type of work. These dogs vary from small to large, from the Poodle to the Chow Chow to the Dalmatian to the French Bulldogs. And group number seven is our non-sporting group. These group of dogs are originally bred to serve as hunting dogs, guarding dogs, herding dogs, and also affectionate companions. Because they do not have enough similarities to fit into any other group within the working class or the guard dogs, they have been put into their own classification as a non-sporting group. The only non-sporting thing about this group is their name because they are highly energetic and they are very powerful and highly intelligent as well. So thanks for watching. I will be talking about each and every single one of these classifications in my upcoming videos in more detail to really break down the how and the origin of each and every single one of these dogs. So check out the link below for further information on my upcoming videos and also hit the like button and subscribe. And at the end of every video, I do hope that you have learned something new about animals and you have grown in your affection towards dogs. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.